door open and locked. Roger. Yeah, probably not really anywhere to land in there. Winching is a pretty rare procedure to do operationally. Every six weeks we do practice, every three months we have to go out and do winching in um, basically a paddock that we go out into. Yeah, I think the patient's out here, it's the 11 o'clock mate. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's them there, yeah, yep. got them sorted. Yep. And then every six months we do a night winch. Then every year we do annual water winching as well. So we practice winching a lot. But I've been at our ambulance for 10 years now, and in that time I've done 15 winches. So roughly just over one a year. Helmet's good, chest, and all the way down's all good. Thumbs yep. up off Shep. Shep's Roger. coming out of seatbelt. I put a lot of faith into my pilot and to my crewmen that they wouldn't put me into a position that's dangerous for themselves or for me. Aircast well clear, you happy Chef? Yeah. Telling Chef he's going down. Roger. Which count? It's a false sense of security because you have this harness on and then you look up and you're looking up at a big tin cam which has got a fan on the top which is spinning around, staying in the air somehow. You have to sort of pinch yourself every now and then as you do it because it's a really unnatural procedure to actually be doing and you forget about how dangerous the actual procedure is. Chef's disconnecting from Winchhook. Recovering an empty Winchhook. Nice work, Scotty.